never have I ever seen the giraffe. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl, the sweetest one Good in morning, town. everyone, and happy, well, it's Saturday for us. Mark was just slowing down a little unexpectedly. There's Mark. We are on our way north. <laughs> Um, we are actually wanting to head to a place that we had gone to once before and we absolutely loved it um, It's called mini measures and it is in Where is it at? Mini measures. I don't remember. I'll put it in the thing, but we're definitely gonna go there today We went there once before and we absolutely loved it. So it's about a two and almost a three-hour drive There's one place. We're gonna stop at um, in Crawfordsville before we get up there, but basically what today is going to consist of is Mar us driving. It's snowing. Ugh. Ugh. It's snowing. It seems like a repeat of our last No, record. it's not going to. No. We, things are not going to close. <laughs> things are going to be open. There's not going to be closings. It's not going to snow that bad. Anyway, <laughs> we're not going to have the meep. Your route may be affected by the winter storm. That's not going to happen. So that's what this is going to be a shop with me vlog. Whatever else we decide to do, I'll pop in and let you know where we're going to eat. I did bring snacks. I always got to have potato chips on a road trip. I haven't even cracked on my Elana yet. You do realize that over where this mini measures was, remember where we ate? No. Pizza King. Yeah, but it wasn't that great. Was it in a really weird, old? Yeah. I don't want to go there. But there are pizza kings up there. There are pizza kings. Pizza king. Let me tell you what. If you don't know, then you don't know. But pizza king pizza is the best pizza. It's square cut pizza, little bits of pizza. I don't like sausage really on anything, but I like a royal feast from pizza king. Their sausage is ground sausage, and it it's just a a different texture than like big balls of sausage. I don't like that. But anyway, we might do that tonight because I'm all, I'm always down for pizza. Always. Anyway, that's it's just going to be that kind of a vlog. But Mark's going to be in the vlog today. Y'all like Mark in the vlog. Don't you love being in the vlog, Mark? Sure. He does. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. And it's just going to be shopping, popping in, popping out, flipping and flopping, gipping and gapping. And that's that's today. Let me know when you're gipping and gapping. Well, you'll 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 know. Anyway, so I, I feel like I'm gonna start this vlog. If you're new here, hi. My channel is started out to be a thrift, like complete thrifting, and re, you know I was reselling, and I'm I'm still a full time reseller, but I do um, a daily vlogs, and I incorporate the thrifting and the reselling as part of it. I am still I, I am everything that my channel name consists of. I am a thrifter, I'm a junker, and I'm a vintage hunter. So all of those things, but I'm just. Um, you know, do a lot of more daily vlogs and just kind of whatever comes up in my day. But my day, my life can really encompasses reselling. Um, that is what I do to earn a living. And um, so right now we're traveling to look for things for resale. Um, I sell everything online on, I have YouTube Live Sales every Tuesday. I also have a um, virtual antique mall with over 200 vendors that have virtual booths and it's called virtual antique marketplace and you can shop there 24 hours a day seven days a week virtual antique marketplace.com we also have a brick and mortar that we are working on opening so there's a lot of irons in the fire but it all incorporates incorporates I also invent words <laughs> I also invent words from time to time but it encompasses us needing to find things to sell so that's what we're doing. We're going on a buying trip is what we call it. We like to do these a couple times a month, just take off and um, explore, you know, within like a weekend trip destination. And so right now we're going up into like well, a little bit of the northern part of the state, not all the way up to the tippy top of the state. That's what we're doing today. So I'm pop, I'm flipping and flopping, gipping and gapping out. Peace. All right, well, we are in Crawfordsville. Thanks, so. We think we know where we're at, but we are at Cabbages and Canes Antique Mall. I don't think we've ever been here, but 
We're gonna see what we can find in here. Look at the tiling on the floor. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness, look, they've got, they used to have these at Kmart. Remember that, Mark? <laughs> I spent my childhood riding on a little, I wanna get one of these for the shop. Put that outside. Oh, nice squeaky floors in here too, I like that. Okay, who's your sweetheart? I like that for my, oh, it's $20, we'll put that back. <laughs> I don't like that much for my gallery wall. This is an interesting way here to display some mugs and stuff. It's kind of cool. More mans. I think I've had that before. I don't know why that sounds so familiar to me. But I was looking at this print right here from this men's. Um, it says, two excellent models, most smartly designed in harmony with the requirements of business life. It is a like a an ad. I just thought it was kind of neat. Look, there's the telephone. He's got his cigarette and all of his work and his smart suit. So Mark found this uh, this day, day glow paint. It does glow under black light, but but you flip it over, someone's like put little tick marks on it. Like maybe after every quarter they put in, maybe. like that was going to be no, because that would be five. That would be four quarters. I don't know. That's kind of neat. How much is it? Fourteen. Fourteen. That's not bad. No, Misty, you do not need any more silver plate pieces. Oh, this is a Jim Beam I Dream of Genie bottle. It's missing its um, lid or its top. It's 32. Do you remember that saying? Oh, yeah. You've got the right one, baby. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, it's Morris. There's something irresistible about this glass. There's, ooh, that's, there's two of them. Oh, there's home, E.T. I'm not going to get them. Oh my no, God, I, I just thought that that looked like something that you It is. Like. I love an orange cat, and I love Morris the cat. I don't know why I have a little hankering for these little nappy dishes now. What? I'm sorry. It's okay. You. You're fine. Oh, the North Pole. Colorado. Oh, we've been there. Yeah. There's Santa. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But... I don't know why I'm obsessed with these little nappy dishes. I don't know why. This is totally not my thing. But look at how pretty they are. They are. That one is. I think that one's hand painted. They're all hand painted. This one specifically is drawn to me because of the shape of it. It's $14. I just think that it's really, really, it's really, really pretty. I don't know why I'm just having a hankering for them, but lately I am. So look at these. So it's $45 for the pair of them. But oh, I think this one's got a broken beak. They're Leo War 2002. You know, the Bluebird of Happiness. But I've never seen them done in a carnival finish. That one has a, a chipped beak. Oh, man. I mean, if that one... Oh, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know that I'm gonna get them. I'm probably gonna be kicking myself, but they're beautiful, aren't they? But that one's got a chipped beak, and I typically do not buy them when the beak is chipped, even though those are pretty neat. I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna refrain. Oh, Canada. Look how cool that is. Party pack beverages. It's $95. That's pretty cool. The store display there. I like it. What's this? Whole thing. Dollhouse furniture. Wooden. For $65. That's pretty amazing. Look at these eggs. I'm like, they are actual. They were actual eggs. They're all hand painted. Hand painted eggs, two are broken. They're $10. I don't know, I think those are just pretty fun. Look at that. That's amazing. I mean, like $10. I'm probably gonna regret not buying them, but I'm not. I'm gonna go home with some regrets, I think, today, but something in my gut is just saying no. Green Town Glass. Greentown glass for 12. I'm just not doing brown. I, I do like you, Goose. You, you're you like Goosey Lucy. Alrighty. 
don't know what's over here. Oh, there's a big Santa Claus up there. Oh, that's a, this is a happy Christmas corner. We like to see Christmas. I don't really want to buy Christmas right now unless I just find something that I cannot live without. I mean, they've got some cute things, but I just don't want, I just don't want to, just don't want it right now. It's not where my head is. I'm sorry, Christmas. The stairs. Trolls. He's property of the bears. Oh, this is cute. This little left a nursery planner for 18. That's the stork. That's where babies come from, Mark. Did you know that? Stork? Yeah, from the stork. <laughs> Vanity is cute. Why it's all set up here. An evening in Paris. Little bottles. Look at the little baby toys. The collars on them are so cute. Hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. What's in here? A little plastic. This little booth is cute. It's all like kind of kitcheny. Kitcheny things. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's $6. I'm going to have to get... Oh, it's a coloring book. I usually don't buy the coloring books. I don't know why. Oh, that... Look at this chalk with a clown on it. Ugh. This is adorable, too. I'm making sure of arithmetic. No, thank you. I, I'm, I'm sure I don't like it. Oh, I love these pictures. This is 22. This is Nelson Ware. I always call it yellowware. I don't I know that that's not the technical name for it, but this is $22, but I like I think it's pretty. Oh, I like this carnival. Are you carnival or are you amber? Next on stage, amber. That's 15. I think I'm going to get that cuz I I like the collared. I've been buying trying to find like collars. And I don't see amber. There are baskets up here. I can go get one, but so I don't see amber very often. There's some like little wedding baskets in Westmoreland. Those are beautiful. I like this little one down here. This little round. The little, that one right there. It's 19. What are these? What are these? They're $85. They are vintage swans. Are they canapes? I think this is a Bakelite. So their little head is Bakelite. And then maybe you put your little canapé, like your picks with your cheeses and stuff on it. Those are different. All right, we went to one other place that I didn't film, and I bought a collection of these. And I spent $5 on them. Um, this, it's a shaker. We'll use them to put hat pins and stuff. But I saw them at the shop that we were at. I didn't film there, but she had just had a whole collection of them. And I liked the way they looked in the collection. So I'm going to put this in my basket. Let's see what else is on the shelf here. We're sad because one of the places we wanted to go to Mini Measures and they're closed. They close in an hour and we're an hour away. That's beautiful too. I think I'm going to get that as well. Man, I'm just like, I'm like buy. I'm like getting into things that I never was interested in. But the colors on that are gorgeous. Like, look at me, Mark. Who am I? I think it's beautiful and I just want to put bottles on it and like mix, do some different mixing of materials with it. What'd you find? Oh, you still got that. I found this beautiful answer. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I'm going to go back over here and look. I don't really like the shaving mugs. Look at, look at Minnie. She'll hold your corn. Your corn on the cob. This is beautiful too, this red transfer layer. I like the little um, children's mugs too. That one's $7. Looks cute if you've got like a little doll collection. But I just like really, I don't like the shaving mugs, but you could, you wouldn't necessarily have to use that as a shaving mug necessarily, but I don't know. I'm just, my uh, interests are changing a little bit, I suppose. Oh, Canada. That's twice. See anything over here? Mark, there's a whip. Whip it good. And there is another story upstairs. There's a commercial going on. Wow, this is a lot bigger than what I thought. We haven't even gone. Oh, look, there's a Sinclair. There's Bigfoot and an eagle. There's the Sinclair. Yeah, right there's Big Bigfoot. I do want a Big Bigfoot for our yard. Not that big, maybe, but I like that Sinclair dinosaur. 
Crack that whip. Now I can't get that song out of my head. I think I used to have that picture when we first got married. Look at this cast iron bed. It's shaped like a heart. Some neat things. I like those New York posters. They've got all kinds of like reclaimed pieces and a lot of furniture and things up here. Oh, here's the feel good book. Oh, and freckle juice. What's the feel good book? Let's see. Lower your standards. What? <laughs> I got a lot of beautiful pieces here. This is really pretty. For 15 Westmoreland vase, hand painted flowers. That is really pretty for spring for $15. I like that chair. I do. $99. I think that's cool. It still has the little protector things on the sleeves too. Oh yeah, that plaid one back there. Oh, I like the... Oh, look at the Raggedy Ann and Andy chalkboard. Those are cute. Put that, like, step over to get in here. There's some of the wooden shakers. I used to have a big collection of those. Let's see. I'm always looking for tinies. Tiny treasures. Not seeing any tiny treasures in this booth right now, though. I don't, I'm filming. I just grabbed the sucker and put it in my mouth. But I want to show you something. Look at this. This is $10 for this micro mosaic. It's missing the stand, but I don't care. That is beautiful. That makes me happy. Look, there's Roger Rabbit. Look. Roger Rabbit. How much are you, Roger? $18. Oh, pull a string, Mark. Oh, he's cute. You pull a string. Okay. I don't think you work. There is Yogi Bear and Linus and Lucy. What? He's cute. Is he licensed? Yeah. How much is he? Ten. That's not bad. He's licensed Disney. He's got a... Walt Disney character, Walt Disney Productions, Los Angeles, California. I think let's get him. I like him. All right. I decided to put Pluto back. We did look him up on. It's just kind of one of those things that I kind of went with my heart and not my brain. But that's about what he sells for. So, we're going to leave him behind. I'm sorry. Okay, we left Cabbage and Kings. That was a really large store with a lot of variety and a lot of really nice things there. So, we, we, we got a few things. And the one place that we were going to go to is not going to be uh, open. So, we're going to have to come up. We're going to sit here and come up with plan B. So, but don't you worry. We'll find someplace else to go. We are going to Chicago in a couple weeks. So, we'll probably hit that place that we wanted to go in a couple weeks when we go, when we head up there. So we're gonna figure out where we're gonna go. All right, now we're in Danville, Illinois. We're in another state. We're going into Glory Days, Antiques and Uniques. It's a sweet little town, all right? Looks like it. All right, never been here before, but we're excited to see what we got. This makes me happy, the Smurf glasses. <laughs> Look at all those steins. That's a lot of steins. Lots and lots. Oh, look, little Joseph birthday. Now, I tend to not buy the, the numbered ones, but I she's not Joseph. She's Lefton. She is September Angel. Mm. Oh, they're $10 each or three for 25 So I'm definitely going to get her. She's got one little. No, I think that she's, I actually think that she's good. So we're going to get you, girl. And then this is another September one. <clears throat> she also look well no she's got a boober right there so we're not gonna get her and i don't buy the number girls look at this i've got a bunch of little murano candies this is four dollars for the little jar 
that you can keep your candies in. And then look at this right here. Souvenir of Chicago, Illinois. This is Czechoslovakia. It's $15. Let's see how much this lady head vase is. She's, pretty, she's missing one of her earrings. She's $25. She's cute. Look at the turtle. Yeah, I'm going to get that. The turtle cookie jar is cute. Oh gosh, remember Mark, we used to have a bunch of those. Mm -hmm, they'd light up. Yeah. This, this little guy's cute. Ooh, and you're not. Mm. You're not clown. You're another clown. You look like you're a California pottery clown, but you're still a clown. Oh, look at this. Little babies on the rattle. Antique milk glass decanter down there. Oh, so far, I really like this booth. There's Neil the Frog right here. How much are you? Oh, you've got all your friends. $37.50? I'll have to look at that a little closer. I'm not going to get them. I like the more of the figural ceramic pieces more than the canister, so it's not a bad price, but I'm not, I'm not going to do it. And I always look for the little bitties. Oh, look at you. Look at you. You've got a little bug on your nose. I don't know how much these little guys are. Five dollars. He's cute. Very, very cute. Be good. This place has a lot of vintage toys, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to come in. But look at all these toys that are still in the box. The space guy and all the military toys over here. Cowboys and Indians. Booby trap. It's just really neat to see all of the like all of the original boxes and that sort of thing. Oh, Mark hasn't been to see the Hot Wheels yet, but these are all new ones. He likes the old ones, but sometimes he uses the newer ones too for parts. But oh, there's Planet of the Apes, Cootie. Oh, I just love, we just love our toys. This old touring game. There's a Fright Nightmare on Elm Street lunchbox. My word. <laughs> Would you like to bend the kid that had that as their lunchbox? It's a thermos. Are you a thermos friend? No, you're more modern. Okay, you're a repro. I was like, oh my God. Didn't know they had such a thing. Wow. Just goes on and on and on. I think that guy up there likes to talk. Mark got Mark's kind of up there talking. <laughs> I just kind of I just kind of look up walking. Okay, he'll catch he'll, he'll catch up. He'll catch up sooner or later. Here's a little piece of Viking. This is a Viking drape with a tripod leg for ten dollars. Big goblet there, which is a great price. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not really looking for orange right now. Oh my goodness, look at the little owls. You're cute. You're angy, but you're neat. You're a pitcher. Hand painted in Italy. Siamese kitty cats. Meow meow. For $12. A dresser valet. It's a wiener dog. For 10 He's cute. Nursery friends from France. My travel ship. Let's see. The map of France. Oh my gosh, look at the graphics. Good day, pretty Rosanna. Oh, this has wonderful illustrations in it. Oh, I like it. Um, let's see. It is, this is a 1927 edition for three dollars. I think we can do that. So in here, they've got records, a dollar each. But they also have this epic cutout of Bill Clinton playing the saxophone. That's pretty epic. I don't think he's for sale. Sorry, everybody. He's not for sale. Another thing, who remembers this show? <laughs> I used to like the show Beauty and the Beast with Lin Linda Hamilton. Looky here. All these are $3 each. And you, there's also a whole... Well, no, I guess those are Disney. But look, there's a book. 
was such an odd show, but I kind of liked it. Let me know in the comments. Did you watch that show too? Well, we got, we did get some, a few things in there. Just a few, couple things. You pretty much saw I got the book and I got the angel. I did get a couple, I got a perpetual calendar and a couple small little figurines. But um, we're going to try to hit up another place and we'll eat and maybe go to a vendor mall, maybe find a Goodwill. But we try to, we're going to try to hit up the antique stores because they usually close around 5 and the vendor malls and Goodwill and stuff stays open later. So that's at least the game plan. That's the game. He liked to talk. He was a nice guy. Absolutely. But I just kept, Mar I'll let Mark, Mark, Mark took one for the team. A couple times. A couple times. day. So now we are at Rabbit Town Antiques and Artisans. Never been in here. We're still in Danville, Illinois. But, oh, the entrance is over here. But we were just noticing there's so many old buildings and stuff that a lot of them seem like they're empty, but Rabbit Town. I wonder if they sell rabbits. Probably not. Here we go. Look at all the little mini oil lamps. I like those. Those are really pretty. Oh, look at all the Fenton girls. Oh, no. These little antenna. It's a little Fenton bee. Wow, there's a lot of Fenton critters. A lot of them. Oh, he's waving. Hi, guys. Wow, look at all of them. Look at this little pink cat. 57 for the little pink cat. On the 4th of July. And these little sugared ones. Those are adorable. Look at these little guys. Little Scotties. It's 18. Made in Japan there. That's adorable. Here's a long neck cat. Oh, his little head's been repaired though, unfortunately. His little... He's very cute as well. I see some rimple. This is diamond pottery. This is frisky. There's two friskies. They are $20 each, which is more than what I can pay for a re resale, but they're always nice to see. And then we've got a Dalmatian here and Puda. She's 40. And then the little black cats are 10. This is a little planter though. He's kind of cute. Oh, there's a little kitty cat. He reminds me of Mr. Fuffer Pants a little bit. Oh, these are cute too. The little sketty dogs. They're 27. A little apothecary, mid-century modern apothecary there. And then this is a little toothpick for 28. So they've got some cute, cute things here that I like. But Mark had pointed out the little Florida oranges. Oh my gosh, those are cute. So it's $50 each for the Disney, for the Florida orange. That those That's adorable. We've got some Sokies. There's Dopey. These really, they're not really worth that much, but I just think that they're adorable. Oh, do you spark still? Let's see. doesn't spark anymore. What? Oh, there's some purple cows. I've sold these several times. The purple cow. So it's 35 for the for the three piece set there. And she's saving for her Cadillac. This pig is. But she doesn't have a price on her. And she's got a big boober on her hoof. Look at this. It's cute in a little case. She's $10. It's cuddly cupy, soft washable vinyl. I'm gonna get you, you're adorable. So Mark just spotted this. 
It's, I have never, never have I ever seen the giraffe. It's diamond potteries. It's a rimple giraffe. Never have I ever. And I'm also getting me this mug because I liked it. And I also got a little look at this little, um, show them that little planter, a little pixie on it. But look over here. This just caught my eye. This very angy dog. Good grief. What's going on, buddy? You are a California pottery, though, but geesh. He's very mad. <gasps> Mark, look. I can make my voice loud. <laughs> No, you don't. And that. that, it's only $2, no, it's only $3, Mark. You're good. <laughs> Come here, girl. I see you. I see you, girl. You're $8. Oh, well, I like that cardinal plate, too. That's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's $5, but I think that's very, very pretty. Whoever painted that did an amazing job. They painted it in... I don't know, but that's who painted 1970. That's a year I was born. I was born in 1975. I was. Stay. This one's pretty too. Those pop poppies. Those are pretty. What are these? Are those hug a bunches? Yeah, hug a bunch hats. <gasps> They're like really dirty though. Oh, hug a bunch. Remember them? So there. I don't remember if I've got green. But it's $21, so it's Viking. I am going to get it because I don't know if I've got green. So I guess I'm just going to have to figure it out and see. But I'm seeing this black slag flower frog. Does that say $4.50? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we're going to get that. And that. Oh, this. I didn't know. Yeah. I thought you had a... Uh, Look at all these dogs. There's a wiener dog there. So all these 50% off. So wait, yellow tag dogs, 50% off original price. So this says 12, so that would be $6 for the wiener dog. We got a boxer. Do we've got like any, I don't see any, that, I mean, I like the wiener dog, but I don't see any that are like, I gotta have that one. I got a lot of, that is an angie baby right there too. Teacups and all that, oh, this is beautiful. Made in Japan as a pretty teapot there. All these teacups and stuff are really pretty too. Oh, see, I don't like my silver polished. I want it looking like it's been neglected for many years. That's the way I like it. Pretty how they have the the lights. Even just like Christmas light, the white Christmas lights make it really stand out. Look at these girls. Set of three original fryer folk. She's eating a big cookie. I like her. She's got a big coffee. Ooh, I like this clock. <sighs> Peter's Shoes, style of the hour, attractively priced. Oh, it's $40, Art, but it's, and it's not on sale, but that's pretty cool. Oh, it'll look nice in my clock collection. Oh, look, there's the little fryer people. Look at that. It's like a mirror, but it's also like a little tray. It's different. All those men's and a bird. Are you Blue Mountain Pottery? <laughs> you might be Blue Mountain Pottery. It is. Oh, cat. Yeah. That's three times in this video I've <laughs> sung to the Canadians. That's beautiful, 2450. And in this booth, I see another Rimple Diamond Pottery. And now, this is a brown one. This is $10. I'm going to get him. They did squeaks too. Okay. Diamond potteries. They, they, they did. And I can't remember which one came first. Either the squeak came first. Was it Rimple or the diamond potties? It's the same but company? It's the same company. It's based off a uh, children's <coughs> book series. But I like this little weirdo too. Look at him. He is a weirdo bird. This is a Nesco. It's $15. <laughs> Okay, so Rabbit's Town. Rabbit Town. Rabbit, Rabbit Town. Okay, so that giraffe, that Rimple giraffe, it's Sophie the giraffe. I knew it was rare, but I had no 
idea how good she is. I looked her up on eBay. There isn't any listed and only one has sold for $250. We paid $7.50 for her. So needless to say, good old Sophie's going to go up on eBay, but see, I just want to address something too. I get a lot of people that will leave me like snarky comments sometimes and it's like, well, you can never find anything to resell in an antique mall. That That is not true. The majority of the time that I shop, I do shop at antique malls. I am not, I'm well aware that with me making YouTube videos and people watching my videos and sometimes that, that, that does help me sell items for a little bit, a little bit over market value. But that just goes, that just kind of proves a point that you can go to an antique mall and you can still find things that you can make a profit. I, we paid $7.50 for good old Sophie. It just, you know, the thing of it is people have different niches. They have different things that they like. And in that booth, maybe they're just like, I don't feel like looking it, I don't feel like looking it up. It's just a little animal Well, and, and sometimes you can find what I'm going to call mantiques. If you look in a mantique booth, yeah. sometimes you can, you find, can find things like that. Yeah, like that. So you just never know. Don't, I'm, and the reason why I'm saying this is, you know, if you're a reseller, don't think that you can't go and support a an antique mall. And, and you can take the time and go in and look. Honestly, the wonderful thing about going to an antique mall is that you learn. You can learn. And we learn all the time. You're going, you're looking things up. You're like, oh, that's interesting. And you're looking it up and you're learning about it. So while finding something like that with that great of a return on investment is, is it is rare for that kind of a return, um, it's still very, very doable. So don't discount antique malls if you are a reseller. So, and we also, hi Connie. We met a subscriber named Connie. So hello Connie, it was lovely meeting you. And um, you have a really good store. It was a really good store. So go check it out if you're in the Danville, Illinois area. I said Indiana. We're not in Indiana anymore, Mark. Nope. We're going to one more place. It's 3.30 and a lot of places Maybe will two. close. Maybe two. They close at five, so it just <laughs> depends. Um, I don't know that I'm going to film just to save a little bit of time, but I will pop in if there's just something like super spectacular. I'll, I, I'll pop in, but we're running out of we're running out of time before places close, and then we'll eat and figure out where we're going to stay. We don't have a plan. We just go where the wind takes us. That's what we're going to do when we get an RV. But when we have our RV, we won't have to worry about where we're going to. We'll have to worry about where we're going to park, but we won't have to worry about a hotel where we're staying in. So we don't even know where we're gonna stay. We'll figure it out later. But we're having fun. Yeah. We're having fun. Okay, we're stopped here at Mercantile Antiques and Trading Company and uh, see what we can find. If I, well, I'm gonna go in and I'll do a recap when I get back out because I gotta save time. It was a great place, Mercantile Antiques. Where are we at? In St. Joseph. St. Joseph, Illinois. That was a great. Right US 150 West, County Road 1600 North. That was a great shop. And I think what I'm going to do, just because we were running out of time and they were going to close, I think I might just do a haul. I might do a haul Captain from there. Jack's Treasures may close within one hour of when you arrive. Now we're going to Captain Jack's, but it, it we're also running out of time. So again, we're going to head over to Captain Jack's in Illinois. <laughs> yeah. It's 20 minutes away from where we're at right now. but um, So I might just do like a haul. It's been a long time since we've done a haul. So maybe we'll do a haul. We're switching things up anyway, so why not just do a haul too? But it's been a it's been a great sourcing day and I needed it cuz it's been a long time since it's been a good sourcing day. <clears throat> it's good. Take it's good. It's good. Okay, so we are at Mon Monte Calls. <laughs> we're we're here. That place. And it's pretty good. I got a little uh, personal pizza, cheese pizza with mushroom, garlic, and olives. Mark got a deep dish, what, like a combination. Yeah, special. Got these little breadstick things, but it's really good. It's pretty good. 
But I'm going to end the vlog for today. Um, we will be shopping again tomorrow, meeting up with Anna or Amy tomorrow, so that will be uh, in tomorrow's vlog. So you're going to be watching this on Monday night. You're going to be watching this a couple days after we have gone, but because I'm not going to edit it tonight, it's just going to get edited when it gets edited. But but it, it was a good shopping day, and we needed it. That was it's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. So, but thank you guys so much for watching and going along with us and we'll have sorry I have the hiccups we'll have more fun tomorrow so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye guys hello friends thanks so much for watching the video don't forget I have a second channel the Misty Show I would love for you to come over and follow me also don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel and go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace it is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Like a ball head and man throws hair in the middle. Red hot mama, red hot mama, but I have to turn my temper down.